Hey guys, I'm Martha Dotto, and we are back for Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 21. So we are here for what I imagine is going to be a pretty crazy episode, because we ended off in a pretty crazy state where Toto is here. He really brought in the hype after all the downers of, you know, Kugisaki maybe being dead, but probably alive. I feel like they wouldn't set up the, oh, we might be able to save her. Like, they would have just, she's just dead, right? Why bring it in to the story? Anyway, I feel like she's probably going to live, but we still lost people. We still have no idea the state of Maki. She got burned just like Nanami did, but she doesn't have, like, the cursed energy to use as defense unless her heavenly pact somehow defends her. We'll see. But, uh, obviously we lost Nanami, worst thing ever. And Kugisaki is not in a good state, and Gojo's been taken, sealed away, so things are not looking good, but we have this hype fight between our two best brothers and, and Mahito, so hopefully it comes to some kind of conclusion. I talked about that in the discussion of last episode, how I don't think Mahito's an interesting enough villain to merit, like, a whole nother season about him, in my opinion. I think he kind of needs to go... And if they're going to do more with this show, they need to move on to different stuff, I feel like. But that's just me. Well, let's watch the episode and see where they go with it. So we're going to start here in five, four, three, two, one, now. Burst through the ground. <laughs> Toto just surfing. Ugh. Jesus. Just coated the floor. Hopefully what he said is true. Hopefully it will be the last time. <laughs> nice. Oh, he just twisted his own head off. Oh, my God, we're watching Parasite now. Ew. Oh my god, what a crazy shot that was. Hmm. Well, shit. Well, damn. A new player has entered the battlefield. Nice, that was a cool shot. I like how we, like, went with him. He's always been good at that stuff. His 10 million IQ. Uh, is this one different? Damn. Underestimated it. Come on, Toto. Adapt. Jesus. Okay, it's pretty strong. It has pinballed him through that building. That's cool. Nice. Was that enough? It's got a lot of power, but yeah, I can't take a hit. Hmm.
No, but there's more. Looks like they're wearing like hoodies or something. Yeah, technically they're human souls, right? Not a me. Will be missed. Curses use cursed energy, right? I was thinking Nanami wouldn't come back as a curse, right? Because I think they said in Season 1 that you have to kill a curse user with cursed energy to exercise them so that way they don't come back as a curse, I think, right? And I think curses use cursed energy, which means that Nanami would have been exercised, so there's no hope of him coming back. We still don't know what the hell happened with uh, Choso. Like, why he started seeing Itadori in his memories. Maybe they're setting up, like, a future season thing. Or maybe it will be answered in these last few episodes. Like one hair on my mustache that's like sticking up and I can like see it. I hope Toto just like comes back instantly. I already defeated them. Come on, Itadori. This is just wild. Tentacle power is OP. Oh, strong boy! Jesus. Fucking creeper. Oh, he just landed on his face. Oh, he's back. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. You have to do it without Sukuna. Nope. He's trying it, maybe? Or is he... Yeah, a tiny expansion. The same thing that he did. Hahaha. <laughs> No oh, shit. Oh, 
He doesn't like that kind of arrogance. Oh no! Damn, Toto just lost a hand! Oh, bone fragments? Oh, his necklace. I don't know what that necklace means, but he kissed it earlier. He can't clap now, though. I didn't even think about that. I was just so worried about the wound. I didn't think about the fact he can't clap. Oh, I hope he slaps his titties. Pull a... Damn. He protected that spot. Yep. Oh, I hope he pulls a Netero. You think I can't clap with one hand, boy? Uh-oh. What is- what does the necklace coming off mean? Ah! <laughs> Best friend -oh! Toto's imagination. <laughs> what is the Toto's life is amazing. Oh my god, his outfit. <laughs> it's so creepy, but so amazing at the same time. He clap. Did he clap using his hand? Yes! Shit! <laughs> Oh. oh shit, he touched him though. Damn. Don't you dare die. If Kugisaki lives from her wound, I think he can live from those. Can't let this chance go to waste. <laughs> I hope you die before you get to use it. Oh, he's going... Oh. Oh, shit. Okay, he looks kind of cool. So he wasn't, like, a full curse before? Is this, like, his full curse form? It's like he hatched. Come on, Itadori. He's definitely going to take some licks learning this guy's abilities now. Nice. I thought he was getting stabbed or something, but no, he was just ripping himself out.
Oh, that looked like it shook the room. Took a hit. God damn. Oh shit. Oh shit. Come on, Itadori. Oh, did the skin get torn off on the side of his face? It did. Kind of looks reminds me of anatomy. What the hell? Jesus, he blasted a hole into the damn. Those are big pipes. Come on, Itadori. Oh. He's hurt too. Oh, the typical anime thing. Just punch your leg until it steadies. <laughs> there we go. I'm all better now. Oh, he's... It's like gone! <laughs> That's exactly... Here comes Rock! Oh, I love the shadowed look. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I don't really understand that because I feel like we've seen people do Black Flash at will. What? He like make his body like more slippery or so? I don't know what he just did. It looked like he did his hand kind of slid off him. Oh, oh yeah, the, his time lag hit. Nice. What? Ah! <laughs> oh, he's going. That's so Netero. Ah! Uh, but he can still faint. Black Flash. Jeez. <laughs> Please let that be a final blow. Trying to puke up more souls to fight with. Oh, he has no more! Get fucked.
Uh, they talked about cursing people after death. <laughs> he is super cursing him after death. What? What's with the weather change? Is this just... What is- what? What? Is it like, symbolic or something, or is it real? What happened? I'm gonna get some... I need to get the holy- oh, okay, I see. The wolf chasing the bunny, okay. I thought the bunnies were gonna eat him. Thought we were gonna have to get the holy hand grenade. No. It's all just symbolism, I think. The wolves chasing the bunnies in the snow. Cool. <laughs> yeah, scream, you little bitch. <laughs> Funny, our rock in a snowball. <laughs> Just trying whatever he can. They're really drawing it out. They want him to die slow. And I don't even feel bad. No oh, shit. Bah, no! I don't think Ghetto was really there, was he? But, ah, oh, that was a crazy episode. Seemingly Itadori won, unless somehow Ghetto is there and saves him. I hope not, but, um, but yeah, that was great. Through and through, I loved it. A lot of, there was a lot of Hunter Hunter references. If you've seen Hunter Hunter, the whole, like, um, applause comes from the soul or whatever is so much like Netero when when Netero lost an arm in Hunter Hunter he was he does his prayer to fight and he's like do you really think I can't pray with one arm or pray with one arm and like prayer comes from the soul and and stuff like that so it was like almost line for line and then the move when Itadori was kind of charging up was the same like doing that it's like I'm sure other I'm sure that's like a a stance or something in some kind of martial arts or something like that that's been used in other places, but uh, but Gon does that same thing when he's charging up like trying to use all of his energy in one big punch, you know. So um, that was pretty cool. I'm okay with it. Those were great moments in that show, and they were great moments in this show too. So. That is it, guys, for episode 21. Yeah, um... <clears throat> I wonder if Reverse Cursed Energy was, uh... Can be used to heal Toto. Like, can it get his hand back? I mean... 
it was able to save EGG, apparently, so an EGG, like, had to have had a bunch of organs completely fucked. So, um, I don't know. It's, uh, I, I really hope so, because I love Toto. I want to see him fight more. I love how each time we've seen him, like, the two times we've seen him so far, he's had new tricks each time. I like that he's able to, like, throw things now and, and jump to them. It's a, it's a really, or like, imbue his energy into just random objects. We didn't see him doing that last fight, or last time we saw him fight. So, it's very cool. Um, but, yeah, that was just, I love that he was able to clap using, um, using Mahito's hand. That was an awesome moment, and switching Itadori for that big Black Flash moment. That was, that was friggin' sick. Uh, his transformation looked pretty cool. Like, I've never been a fan of how he looks, because he just looks like a patchwork human, right? Like, for a curse, I was hoping he looked different. But, I mean, obviously he shapes himself into pretty much whatever he wants to look like. So, I mean, that's fine. Um, I never really, like, I never really hated how he looked. I never really thought about it. I was just like, oh, okay, that's his design. But when he turned into this, it looked a lot more badass. It reminded me a little bit of the... The things that had, like, the Sukuna fingers in them in Season 1. But, uh... But still, it was pretty, uh... His transformation was pretty cool, and... Uh... Definitely made him strong. I don't understand why, like, half of it went away. The only thing I can think of is maybe that wasn't supposed to happen. The way, like... The way it looked on Mahito's face, I thought it... Like, he was happy about it. So I thought he was, like, diverting energy or something from one half of his body to, like, strengthen the other half. But it didn't make sense because that was the half that Itadori was hitting. But maybe what it was was he was just losing power and he couldn't keep that transformation on, like, his whole body. But I also thought it was weird because I thought that was just his new form, right? Like, I didn't think it was, like, a transformation. I thought that was just how he looked now. And there was no, like, other base form anymore. I thought it was like a, you know, kind of like how a caterpillar going into Cocoon and becoming a butterfly doesn't, they don't just randomly turn back into a caterpillar, right? They're just always a butterfly. That's how I thought it was. But, uh, but he did go back and that's that. So, but yeah, I don't really know why. Like, half of his body went away. There was a few things there that I wish were a little better explained. But I did like the narration stuff that also reminded me of Hunter x Hunter, where we kind of, like, froze and it talked about a few things that were going on because, like, some of the stuff that's happening in this show is so crazy. It's, like, beyond our comprehension. It's We just have to assume what's happening. Um, but... But, yeah, Black Flash being, like, not being able to be used at will, I don't understand what that means. What, like... Because every time we have seen Itadori use it, I feel like he's trying to do it. Isn't that at will? Like, we had a whole thing in season one where he stood there and really focused and did a black flash. And Toto was like, you do a black flash right now or I'm not teaching you anymore or whatever. Or, you know, like, he put like an ultimatum on him. But if you can't do it at will, how did Toto expect him to do it at will right there, right? So, I don't know, maybe maybe it's a weird thing with the power system where you can't do it at will, but if you, like, turn off your brain enough, you can, but in my opinion, that's still doing it at will. Like, I don't know. That kind of confused me a little bit. Maybe either I'm not understanding something, or maybe the subtitles are messed up. It wouldn't be the first time that there's been, like, a rough translation, and maybe it doesn't exactly mean that. So, I don't know. But, but yeah, like, that's the only thing keeping me from being like, oh my god, Itadori did it at will, like, because the alternative of not doing it at will would mean you randomly throw a punch and a black flash comes out and you're like, oh shit, I didn't mean to do that, you know? To me, that's what that means, but it seems like every time he does a black flash, it's deliberate. He's not surprised by it. He even yells out black flash after he does it, right? I don't know. It's it's a little confusing, but I guess we'll just wait and see. Maybe they explain it better, or I'll probably watch a reaction to this in the dub 
after this, uh, after I'm done recording this, and uh, I'll probably see how they word it in the in the dub, and that might help me understand it. Sometimes I do. I will say I do love watching shows in subbed. I love the voice actors in subbed, but sometimes I feel like I understand things a little bit better when they're said to me through like like when they dub it rather than me trying to read the subs and understand it, right? So anyway, um, I hope this is like the end of Mahito. I said it before, I said it at the beginning of this episode, I said it in the discussion of the last one. He's a cool character and everything, but I just don't care about him enough to to deal with him a whole nother season. Like there's no compelling backstory to make me like kind of root for him, you know? There's there's just not much there for me with his character. It's just kind of hey an evil guy, right? Uh that we have to defeat. So I'm uh I'm kinda hoping this is gonna be the end, but we'll see. Uh but I like I love that speech that Itadori gave him, like every time you come back I'll be there to kill you and no, like no matter if you change your face, change your name, I'll be there to kill you. And then he like broadened that to even just I'm just going to keep fighting curses because that's what I'm here to do. So I guess we'll see if that's just big talk from him or if that's just his life now. If he's going to dedicate himself to eradicating as many curses as he can so that way he can save as many people as he can to atone for what has happened here and since he's taken on Sukuna, you know, so... Certainly interesting stuff. I pray Toto will be, like, will make a full recovery. We'll see. The moment when he freaking, the necklace falls off and it's just Takata and Itadori in his necklace. That's what it is. It's just hilarious. It's so Toto. I should have known. And then he, like, channels her energy or something like that and, and fights back. That was really funny. I mentioned it's a little creepy because it's just... Sometimes it's weird when you, like, when you think about the fact that she barely knows he exists, right? Like, he goes to the handshake events and everything, but, like, she paid him no mind the one time we saw him go there, uh, pretty much. So, she probably doesn't even realize he exists. Hell, I don't, they had that whole after credit thing. Now, it's an after credit thing means it probably wasn't canon and it's more of a joke, but it seemed like she kind of had a thing for Mai, so maybe she doesn't even like dudes. You know, maybe she's a, maybe she's a lesbian or something. Um, and that really ruins his chances. But the, my main point is, is she barely knows him, yet he's, like, so infatuated with her. It's kind of, like, a little weird to me. But I also kind of get it, because I like to try to pretend I'm uh, better than that, but... They're, like, I gotta say, whenever I see any show that Felicia Day is in, I'm, like, I need to find a woman like her. <laughs> because she's always, like, I don't, uh, she seems like she's somewhat like that, like, the nerdy kind of personality and everything in, in real life, but I really don't know. All I've ever seen is internet personas, you know, um, but... I've seen a little bit of her doing, like, you know, board games with Will Wheaton and, and stuff like that. And even in there, she seems to still be that way, you know? So I understand that weird infatuation. Like, I, I'm, pr I'm sure most people have someone where they're, like, every time they see them in a show or something, they're like, oh, this person's awesome, you know? But, uh, but yeah, I was just thinking about it. I was just like, you know... He's, like, channeling this girl's energy that, like, barely even knows who he is and everything. But I still love it. It's it's fantastic. So. And I suffer from the same thing. But. But, yeah. I think there's a word for it where you, like, really... I don't like using it because it... I don't know. But there's, there's a word for it when you're obsessed with someone that, like, doesn't even know you exist. Where, like, you watch so much of their content that you feel like you know them. Um, I wouldn't really claim that like I said I I probably don't even know a quarter of you know Felicia Day's personality or anything but um but there's some people that will actually claim they like know the person and they'll meet them at like a convention or something and they'll act like they're best friends with them and it's like 
is kind of weird. I don't I don't remember the term for it. One of my friends said it one time, but uh, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> regardless, great moment. It was really funny. I love that he has Itadori in there too. Um, I wonder if Itadori will see that after if he'll go like pick it up for him or something like that and see him in there and be like, uh, Toto, what's this? <laughs> what do you mean, best friend? <laughs> oh man, but great episode. Uh, I mean, if he does get defeated next episode, I guess we still have Geto and getting Gojo back if if all that even happens in the season. But I think there's only two episodes left. So that's that's kind of crazy. I need to double check that and make sure. But um, but yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed. Check out my Patreon if you want to see more. Link is in the description below. Two more episodes ahead of time. If there are only two episodes left, that means... If you get on my Patreon, you can see the, the last few right now. And you'll be a member, and you'll be able to see what's coming out next after this one, too. And the other stuff on there that you have early access to. So check it out if you're interested. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in my future reactions. Bye-bye.